loves welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a soft smoky green eye and I'm gonna be pairing it with some nice nude pink lips if you guys would like to see how I created this look then please keep on watching First thing as always, I'm going to be going with a primer. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and we're going to apply that all over the lids. This is going to keep our eyeshadows from creasing. Next I'm going with a black base. You can use any black base that you have at home and you want to apply that all over the lid. And then we're going to take an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, it's called Morocco. We're going to be applying that as a transition color and also carefully smudging out the edges of the black base as well. And then we're going to go with our next shade, this is Coco Bear, another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. We're going to apply that as our secondary transition color right under Morocco and blend it very, very, very seamlessly. Then we're going with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is called Havoc. It's one of their Dior Chrome eyeshadows. We're going to be applying it on two thirds of our lid. And then we're going with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. It's called Secret Garden. Um, I think this is another Dior Chrome eyeshadow. I'm applying that to the remainder of the lid. And then we're going with another eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's a nice burgundy shade and we're going to use that in the crease area to kind of deepen out the crease a little bit. And then we're going to blend everything out when we're done. Next we're going with a matte black shade. We're going to be applying that right in the outer V. This is going to deepen out the crease. This shadow is actually called Makeup Geek's Corrupt. I absolutely love this black shade and I'm blending it out with a brush as soon as I'm done applying it. Next, we're going with our Bra Bone shade. This is glamorous. It's a nice muted gold color. It's also from Makeup Geek. We're just going to make sure we blend that all over the Bra Bone area. Then we're going back with our brush to kind of blend out the demarcation between the transition and the Bra Bone color. And then we're going to be applying an eyeliner. This is the Elf Eyeliner in Black. We're going to be doing a really nice extended wing liner. And it's a little bit dramatic as well. Then we're going to be going back to our shadow. I felt that the shade was not really prominent enough so I went back to reapply it and make it a little bit more intense. Now we're going to be applying mascara. This is the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. We're applying this to prep for our lash application. Then I'll be applying my falsies. These are the creme lashes in number 74s. And the lash glue I normally use with these lashes are normally the dual lash glue if you guys were interested in knowing. Now we're going to focus on our face. I'm going with the Amberly Slate Cream Concentrate. We're going to be applying that all over the face. And then we're going to follow up with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and the Smooth In Primer. So we're going to apply that to close up the pores and give us a nice canvas for the foundation application. We're going to be going with this illuminating product from Gerard Cosmetics. It's a BB Plus Illumination and we're going to apply that in the highlight areas to help give that some light and glow. And then we're going to take that foundation from Milani. It's called the Milani Pro Conceal Foundation. We're going to lay that on top of our face and on top of the highlighter and make sure we blend the highlighter as well as we are blending the foundation. You got me blushing. Now we're going with the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette and we're going to go with the lightest shade to highlight the face. So we're just going to apply highlights to the center of the face and then when we're done, we're going to take a beauty blender and blend everything out. And then we are going to go with the darkest shade in the palette. That shade we're going to use to kind of decrease the hollow places in our face. So this is going to make our face look slimmer and we're just going to sculpt and chisel the face and also blend everything out as well. I'm using the Luxie Pro Sculpting Brush to blend out the contour. Now we're going to set our highlight. Of course you guys know I love Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. That's what I'm going to be using with my Beauty Blender to kind of bake for like some minutes and as you guys see 
I'm gonna bake under the contour and then I'm gonna do a little dance break and then we are going to clean off that excess baking powder with the MAC Manoa Light Skin Finish in dark. Now we're gonna go back to the lower lash line, yay! We're gonna be applying that base, dark base that we applied on the, on the lid, we're gonna apply it on the lower lash line because we're going to be applying eyeshadow and we're going to apply the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Liner. It's a black liner, we're just gonna apply that in the rim because I want this to be nice and smoky. And then we're going back into the Makeup Geek Shadow and Coco Bear. We're gonna just smudge that on the bottom of that base to kind of blend out the harsh lines the base left on the lower lash line and make it look a little bit more smoky. And then we're going into Secret Garden from Makeup Geek. We're gonna be applying that directly on top of the black base, making sure we're blending it in, in between the Coco Bear so it kind of looks like a gradient effect from that. And then we're going to follow up with Havoc, the dual chrome eyeshadow. We're going to apply that to the tail end towards the inner corners and blend that in with Secret Garden. Then for the inner corners, we're going with Makeup Geek's shadow in Mai Tai. It's another dual chrome shadow. It's kind of like a pink with like gold reflex or dual chrominess to it. <laughs> and then we're applying mascara to the rest of our bottom lashes as well. Now moving on to the contour part of the face, I am also going to set that contour with the Black Radiance True Complexure, True Complexion Palette in Dark. And then we're going to follow up with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. We're going to kind of blend everything together so seamlessly so that we don't see any harsh lines and everything looks not too scary, <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about. And then we're going to apply some of that contour powder from Black Radiance and use it to sculpt our nose. And then I'm going into my Ultra Professional Blush Palette. I'm just picking just like a mauve tone blush and I'm going to apply that on the cheek because we have a lot going on the eyes. I really don't want it to be too much. For my highlighter, I'm going with Ultra Cosmetics You Do You Highlighter and we're applying that to the highlight points of my face. I already applied the pear hydrating mist on my face behind camera. Now we're doing the lips. I'm applying BFF3 lip liner from ColourPop, my absolute fave. And then we're going to follow up with Max Lipstick in Faux, my favorite neutral lipstick ever. And we're gonna apply that on the lips. My favorite gloss on MAC would have to be Angel, and that's what we're gonna use to top off everything. And then we're completed with this look. I hope you guys enjoy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this look. If you enjoy this look, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you guys to subscribe and join my community. Thank you guys again for your love and support. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in a next video. Bye.